Well, hello there. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Madam Shaza and I teach science for Form 1, Form 2 and Form 3 at Sekolah Menengah Science, Tuan Kumunawe. On today's lesson, I'm going to demonstrate an experiment from a textbook on page 50 to 51. In experiment 2.1, we are going to study the differences in percentage of oxygen in inhale and exhale air. This lesson consists of a demonstration of the experiment as well as a simple activity that I will attach the link for the handout in the description box down below. Now let's get started. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to carry out experiments to investigate the differences in the content of gases in inhale and exhale air. You may find experiment 2.1 in your textbook on page 50 to 51. In this experiment, we are going to study the difference in the percentage of oxygen in inhale and exhale air. The materials that you need are candles, plasticines, matches, permanent markers, water, inhale air and exhale air. But in this experiment, I will replace the permanent marker with rubber bands. And the apparatus that you need in this experiment are glass basin or glass trough, gas jar, gas jar cover and gas jar stand. We also need rubber tubes that are needed in the second part of the experiment. First of all, you need to set up the apparatus as shown in figure 2.1. If you look in diagram B, the jar is divided into five equal parts and marked using the permanent marker. But what I did was I divided the jar into 10 equal parts with rubber bands. And instead of using one glass basin, I use two glass basins. What you need to do is to observe and record the final water level after the candle flame extinguishes. Then we need to estimate the percentage of oxygen in the air in the gas jar. Now let's watch the demonstrations. Make sure you pay attention on the procedures and don't forget to take notes on the observations. I'm going to show you how are we going to compare the composition of the inhale and exhale air. So this experiment is experiment wajib. So, uh, so the first experiment is to study the difference in the oxygen content in inhale air and exhale air. What do you need in this experiment are candles, plasticine, matches. So you all have it here. You have the candle over here, the plasticine, uh, some matches, rubber bands, okay, rubber bands that I already put on the gas jar. Um, and you need a glass trough. Uh, let, actually, you need only one, but I use two glass trough um, and some tubes, rubber tube, and the candle stand over there I have two candles stand there right so what you need to do first is to divide the gas jar into 10 equal parts I use rubber bands to divide the gas jar into uh, 10 equal parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 then light up the candle and invert the gas jar that contains an inhale air into the candle since the inhale air is the same as the air that we breathe in that's around us so we just collect the air around us and just invert them into the onto the candle you will see the water level are increasing up to the second level and the flame goes out as well so it means the candle already use up all of the oxygen that are present in the inhale air so as you can see here the water level is up to two parts two over ten so that means the inhale air contain about 20 percent of oxygen then um, i'm going to repeat the experiment by using exhale air collecting the exhale air is quite tricky so what i did was i filled the gas jar full with water and i cover it with a 
glass cover like that all right and then i invert it into the water immediately into the water like that all right take out the gas uh, the glass cover and i will put it underneath uh, sorry on top of the tube so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna blow exhale air through the uh, rubber tube so the exhale air will fill the gas jar so it's a, it's just about a water displacement method so the air that i blow in will displace the water out all right so i'm just gonna blow So that's it so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take this one out all right so i'm going to light up the candle again to test the oxygen level of the exhale air all right so, I'm going to carefully cover this one up. Okay, and take it out. I should remove the water out. All right. Okay, and I will carefully invert it on into the candle. So you can see the water is rising up. Uh, the water rises about just a little bit higher than the first level. It's about one and a half, one and a half, something like that. Exhale air contain about 15% of oxygen. All right, that's all for today for the first experiment to determine the composition of oxygen in inhale air and then exhale air. If you notice, I made a few changes in the experiment. The first one is I changed the permanent marker with rubber bands. So instead of marking the gas jar with permanent marker, I use rubber bands. And I divided the jar into 10 equal parts instead of 5. Now let's record the observations. You may find the link for the handout in the description box down below. So, as a conclusion, does the hypothesis accept it? Yes, the hypothesis is accepted. The percentage of oxygen is higher in inhaled air compared to exhaled air. In which gas jar does the water level rise higher? Explain your observations. From our observations just now, the water level in the gas jar containing the inhaled air is higher than the water level in the gas jar that contains exhaled air. Why? This is because the composition of oxygen is higher in inhaled air compared to exhaled air. Burning of the candle uses all of the oxygen present in the air. This causes the water to enter the space inside the gas jar that was originally filled with oxygen. Hence, the water level rises. Thank you for joining our lesson today. See you again in our next lesson.